All right, guys. So uh, we're back here with Fire Emblem Echoes. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna engage the enemy squad. Last time we saved Claire and uh, she called us a peasant, so that kind of sucked. All right, so let's view the map, see what's happening here. Okay, so there are there's an archer here that I'm gonna have to be careful. Is there anything else around the map? Nope. All right. So let's see, our clerics are in the right position here. We have Claire. All right, so let's just start the fight. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move Lucas up front so he can take the uh, hits here. And um, as you can see here, we can talk and have support talk here. So let's do that actually. Let me just put Hello, the uh, auto. How's it going? I'm doing just fine now. Seeing your face is always a bright spot in my day. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's not a low point. Now, shall I head back out there and slay more of your enemies for you? Uh, slay enemies for me? Um, uh, I would hope you're doing it for a better reason than just me. Oh, is that what you want? Because I'll do it. I'll fight for any cause you desire. Just promise you'll be watching, Alm. Promise to look at me. Faye, I... Look, just please be careful, alright? So you can tell that she is obviously in love with... With Alm. From the looks of it, she's totally in love. Uh, salutations, Alm. Uh, hello, Claire. <laughs> And just what are you guffawing at? Such behavior is unspeakably boorish. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. It's just... Who says salutations on a battlefield? Well, but... I say it. Oh, very well. How would our fearless leader have me greet him instead? <laughs> I'm not criticizing the way you speak, Claire. In fact, I like that about you. You... You do? Alright, that was the second conversation that we can have here. And now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move our units up. Oh, wait, what? Cliff can talk to Tobin? Alright, let's, let's see what they have to say to each other. Hey, Cliff, what's new? Are you kidding? I thought I told you... Yeah, yeah, no small talk. Guess I forgot. Or else you're doing it on purpose to get under my skin. <laughs> I really can't stand when you do that. Yeesh. Do you want to talk about it? Maybe you need a hug? Alright, so Cliff seems to be uh, not very happy. Nothing so, okay, so let's let's just move here. And let's just keep things as they are. I want I want the enemy to move first and then I'll do my moves after. I really do need to take care of the archer because those are always the scarier ones. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put Lucas in the middle of all these three. I really hope he can just tank the hits and uh, he doesn't get destroyed here. All right. And Lucas gets a level up. That's great, actually. And he is now level 8. Alright, so now what we're going to do is... Hold on. Alright, so Gray is almost... Le um, he's close to leveling up as well. So I'm just going to use him so I, we can get him a level up. And now he's going to be level... 6. Yes. Alright, and uh, let's see here. Alright, so Tobin's also close to leveling up. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use Thunder on th this guy. And we're going to use... Oh, okay, I'm not sure if I should use Claire here. Because then everybody else is going to gang up on, on them. 
All right, you know what? Oh, wait. All right, so I'm just going to kill this archer. Okay, good thing we killed the archer. I'm really reg I don't like Tobin as an archer right now. He keeps missing everything. But Claire, you know what? I'm just going to give Claire the uh the kill here. And she won't be able to kill him actually. Ooh. Oh no. Her defense is 5. Oh no. Uh, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna use uh, Silk here to to lower him to level HP to three HP. My bad. And oh wait, oh I messed up. My only hope now is for Silk to to tank this because now they're gonna go after her. She's going to be a target right now. Alright, with that, we now killed the guy, but now we have the issue of Silk being a target. So let's move on up here. And let's just move that there. See what happens right now. I really hope they just gang up on Claire and they don't... I knew it. Okay, so thankfully Silk was able to defend herself. And she was able to use her black magic to also get her health points up. Okay, so it seems here that uh, everybody did go on to Claire. Like I thought they would. Now... Alright, so first, let me just move thing here so I can uh, recover Claire. Alright, let's see. Can Okay, so Claire can't take them on, which kind of sucks. Alright, so Cliff is just going to take the kill on this. Um, since Claire can't really do much. And, okay, can she kill somebody here? Nope. Nope, she can't kill. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna use Tobin here. For that, and then Claire is just gonna take the kill. Okay, and then she should uh, level up. Yeah. And now I believe she's going to be level 6, right? Yes. Have you ever seen such physical perfection? Alright, so now that she's level 6, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take Lucas over here. So he cannot... Hold on, let's see here. Can I use black magic? Oh, no. Okay, let's just use black magic on this guy. And Silk gets a level up as well. So we're leveling up our units really quickly. And also, um, I did level up my units off screen as well. Just so I don't have to worry about them dying really quickly. So Lucas will take the kill here and uh, he'll get some XP. And then, you know what? I'm just going to give... Um, okay, so he can't take them down. Oof. Alright, so I have nothing to worry about here. Oh, no! Ooh. Oh, I keep forgetting where I have my clerics. Okay, you know what? So, Gray is going to be able to take this one down. And then, unfortunately, Om um, won't be able to kill this guy, but hopefully will be good enough that uh, Faye doesn't die. Oh, actually, they're going to start running away. All right, that's that's actually pretty good. I didn't think they were going to run away. Okay, first of all, let's see. Who who needs some experience right now? Who's behind? 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to give it to Alm. And now he gets a level up, so he's going to be level six. I can tell I'm getting stronger. All right, so let's just use our white magic to um, restore gray, and let's have another support talk here. See what they have to say. Hello, Faye. Oh, Silk. We seem to keep running into each other here on the battlefield. Yes, well, I was hoping we could get to know each other better. There are so few of us women fighting alongside Sir Alm, after all. And there are many things I wish to talk about that aren't for the ears of men. Well, um... I don't think that kind of friendship is for me. Sorry. Huh? I'd rather spend time near Alm than stand about gossiping. No offense. Anyway... Good luck, I guess. What in Mila's name just happened? What exactly happened indeed? What the heck? She just denied her so bad. What in the world? Damn. Damn, dude. I have no idea what happened, but you know what? We're just going to have a conversation here. We're not going to attack the guy. No, wait. What is it? Wait a second. Oh, there we go. Hey, Claire. How's tricks? Salutations, Gray. I fare passably well, if that's what you're asking. Still, a shame you are not Alm. A visit from him would have lifted my spirits. Ouch. Tell me how you really feel. But then again, roses with thorns are the ones I enjoy tending best. And does the budding gardener think cajolery makes the flowers grow? Caj... Cajol? I don't know that word. You have no shame, Gray. And I have no time for empty words. Now, if you will excuse me. What? Wait! Sheesh, man. What's her problem? I gotta say, I'm really liking the characters. They're really funny. <laughs> but, okay, so Tobin can't do anything here, can he? Nope. So Tobin can't do anything. Um, we're gonna move Cliff closer to the guy that went to heal himself because he's scared. And, uh, ah, really? Oh, Tobin with a critical hit. Damn, dude. I think that was a critical hit. But that's actually really legit. Let's see here. So everybody's level 6 except for Faye. I could try to give Faye the uh, XP here. And Cliff is also level 5, so we need to get him to level 6. Let's see here. Okay, so we should kill this guy. And there we go. So now Faye is going to be level 6 as well. If I'm correct. No, wait, what? She's going to be level 4. I mean, level 5. I can match that. What? Okay, so I completely got that incorrectly. But let's just kill this guy here. And uh, let's get Cliff a little bit closer so we can give him the final blow here so he can be level 6. And thankfully, the enemy did not attack Alm, so he didn't kill himself. He just stayed and healed, which is actually really good because then Cliff was able to come in and get the final XP for the final level up. And we got the battle complete. All right, so everybody got. For a stunning lady. All right, so before I got interrupted by Claire, everybody was able to get kills here, and now we're just gonna get the level ups. Everybody's pretty ha happy, except for Alm and Claire. They're okay. Claire, you're safe. Oh, good day, Fernand. And what brings you here? Need you even ask? When I heard you had been taken prisoner, I mounted my finest destrier and sped here at once. Sir Clive couldn't leave the hideout without its commander, of course. But I see I am a step behind regardless. Who is this rabble? Um, are you talking about us? They are not rabble, Fernand. This boy is Alm. He is the grandson of Sir Mycen himself. Mycen's grandson? Lucas, 
I demand to know the meaning of this. You were ordered to find the general himself, not some mewling child. Sadly, Sir Myson was not so easily convinced. However, Alm and his friends have joined our cause in his stead. Is this some manner of folly to you, Lucas? Am I to be amused? Such base-born curs cannot possibly aid our cause. The Deliverance has no place for brats with pitchforks. Fernand, you must listen to reason. These curs you so easily disparage fought valiantly for us. In fact, without Alm, we might not have retaken the southern outpost. I can vouch for their strength. <laughs> As if the word of a backwater noble carries weight with me. Your entire house should be kissing the Knights of Sophia's feet. <sighs> I think that's enough. You can say whatever nasty things about me you like. I'll get over it. But Lucas deserves your respect. I beg your pardon? Do I look like a man who listens to the opinions of peasants? Then you can listen to me, because I happen to agree with him. Fernand, my brother already explained this to you, did he not? Sir Clive? What exactly did he explain? A soldier's worth is not determined by the station of his birth. If we do not all fight together as one, then we will never defeat Desay. Those are wise words. Unforgettable words. Desay's forces already have us at heel. Yet you would splinter us further? <sighs> you there, boy. <sighs> That's me, I take it? Out of respect for Sir Clive, I will permit you to join the Deliverance. But you will learn your place. Now, Claire, seeing as you are safe, you have no need for these people. Come, let us return. We must report this matter to Sir Clive at once. I will do no such thing. I'm going with Alm. Very well. Do as you please. Wow, what a jerk! I've never met someone so rude. I guess we've been spoiled by Lucas. He nearly convinced me that swinish knights are the exception, not the rule. But that was a swan, all right. <laughs> you poor dears must be so upset. I apologize for the way he treated you. Don't be silly. You don't have to lower yourself for a miserable human being like that. Oh, my. Oh, great. Here we go. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, regardless... Please don't think ill of Fernand. He wasn't always like this. The world changed him. Did something happen to him? <sighs> we live in trying times. And some things that transpire are difficult to put into words. In any case, we should be on our way. All right, so now we can save our game, and damn, people are really mean. And now, let's just move on and attack the next enemy squad. The Second Battle of Southern Sophia. All right, so let's view the map here first, see what, see what we have going on. Um, where are they? Uh, hello? Okay, so there's two here. What the heck? Alright, so, um... Wait. Let me view the map once again. Let me just see exactly where, uh... My... People are located. Okay, so let's switch this with this here. Alright. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so everybody's good to go. My, my team is good. And let's just fight. Since we don't have any more units. Um, what we're going to do is... We're just going to move this way. We're just going to move to the right. And hopefully we don't get screwed. We should be all be able to move to the same formation that we just were in just yeah just say the word. even though i think i moved claire a little bit too much which which still should be good here <laughs> Stand back. all 
Ah, uh, and there they are. Whoa, they went... I'm not sure if they just showed up or if they were there the entire time, but I did not notice them. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... Hold on. Let's see here. So I'm just gonna bait them out with Lucas. And let me just move Claire a little bit back. I don't rely too much on Claire to do stuff. She's not very reliable. But let's actually... Hold on. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna make them come here by having Alm really close. Like I said, I'm not very good with strategy. All I, I, What I usually do is I just make a wall with my front line, let them get attacked, and then my back line will be able to take care of the rest. And in this game, the clerics can actually do damage. I don't remember if the clerics from the other games can do damage. If they can, then I feel really dumb for saying they can't. But now Cliff is going to be able to take the kill here and take some XP for himself. And let's see. Should I use it on Claire? Should, should Claire get the XP or should everybody else get the experience? Who's close to leveling up? No one really. Alright, so let's just use Alm. Alright, so Alm will be able to, you know, take some hits. And Tobin will take the kill, actually. You know what? Oh, and he... Oh my god. I hate Tobin. I hate Tobin so much. Hold on. Can Gray take the kill? Let's just give Gray the kill then. I hate Tobin. He keeps missing his shots every time. I believe Tobin can take the shot. He doesn't. Now let's just move everybody else here. And just to give... Um, just to give Silk some S XP. Uh, we're just going to heal up Cliff. Since... Since he had to use his magic. And in this game, magic... Also takes away your health points. So now, we're just going to move Lucas once again. And let's just make the wall. I like the wall strategy. Because they can't get through and they can't hit my other units. So let's just hide Silk. And let's just keep them close by like that. Claire is going to be in the back. And since Tobin can attack from far away we're just gonna keep him there and there we should be good we shouldn't be hit by anything they should either hit Alm like it's happening right now or Lucas and Alm just killed the guy it's crazy it's crazy how much um, crit crits the keeps happening here like I have no idea how you know my units are able to do critical hits each time but let's see thunder or fire okay so they both kill him so we're just gonna use uh, fire because it takes Lex less less um, health points from us and we'll be good to go here all right so should I rely on Tobin to take the kill here because if I move him up, we're going to have some trouble here. So let's see. Alright, so I'm I'm relying on Tobin once again to get the hit and to kill him. And thankfully, he actually killed him. Whew. I honestly thought he wasn't going to be able to kill him. Alright, so we should still be good here. And once again, another critical hit. I think every time you hear that sound, that's a critical hit. I don't have the animation on because it takes forever. So I, we're not able to see if that was a crit. But I'm pretty sure that was a crit. And it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Man, that was too easy. I'm not sure if they made it so crits are more, um, are more common in this game or something like that. Well but thought, damn. Everyone. The Deliverance's hideout is just a stone's throw away now. I'll send a messenger ahead to inform Sir Clive of our arrival. 
Let us make haste. I'm sure he'll be quite eager to meet you. And now let's save our game once again. Okay, so now we can explore our shrine. Not so fast. Where do you think you're going? Don't you know whose Halsey's is? Huh? But I thought this was the... That's enough, Python. There's no call to play a trickery with our new recruits. <laughs> Lucas, you ginger stud. You still draw breath. I was worried to say his dogs might have punched your ticket to the boneyard. So, this sack of guts here must be Sir Grandson. Yes, he's the one. Is Sir Clive about? Yep, better shake your tail feathers. He's been waiting for you. Oh, hey, kid. I almost forgot. Huh? What is it? Terrors roam these halls. You'd best tread carefully. Terrors? What are monsters like those doing in your hideout? Well, to be fair, they technically got here first. We're just sort of borrowing their catacombs. Plus, terrors spawn in greater numbers the closer you get to Mila's power. Counting them down only makes room for new ones, so we just let them be. Why the long face, stud? Don't think you can handle a few creepy crawlies? Because if not, I don't know how you're planning to fight for the deliverance. Uh, I'm just japing you. Get going, yeah? Oh, and hold your nose. Terrors stink. <sighs> Great. Their hideout is guarded by an army of the dead. Alright guys, so on the next episode, we'll be able to explore the hideout and see what's in store for us. So, see you guys there.